Let's put on a bunny costume and I'll put you through Crash Bunny School. Off the bunny That's school. good. Then into a costume, a too tight satin bathing suit and black leotards. More coverage probably than you'd find on the beach. It just looks bare. My matching shoes would fit one size larger than I normally take. This job is hardest on the feet. Standard equipment is the bunny cottontail. And with it comes a small flashlight and a pen hooked to the costume for future order taking. Now, to your ears. Yes, Are most of the girls embarrassed when they first put these costumes on? Not hardly. I'd say about one out of 143 might be embarrassed. Embarrassed. I remember one girl, when she had her fitting, she, she dropped the costume on and she ran into the closet screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and when we realized what happened to her, she we just found out she was modest. <laughs> I think I'm two out of 143. I feel ridiculous. Later, memorizing the rules in the bunny manual, which is 35 pages long, and tells you how to arrange your serving tray, the different glasses and garnishes for the different beverages. A test is given in the manual, and later, if a bunny is untidy or late, chews gum and so forth, she gets demerits and pays a cash fine. Dating customers or drinking alcoholic beverages before or on the job means automatic dismissal. After the manual test, the experienced bunnies then rehearse the new trainee. The bunny dip, in particular, confused me. Tell me something, Lucky. What is the bunny dip? Well, the bunny dip is a position that we use because it's, you know, kind of difficult to serve over the table with things, but how is it done? Well, Serene why don't you show me? Mm -hmm. We're holding our tray. And we take the glass from the tray, keep the legs together, and there's the table. You serve sideways, then? Yes, we serve sideways. We serve five eggs. Uh huh. And you bend at the knee and you put yes, you put your legs together. Yes. Weight on the right leg, the left leg in front of the right leg, and you dip. You think you could show me? Let me try. Yes, I think I could show you. Left leg in front of the right leg. Like that? That's right. Legs together. You're holding your trunk uh -huh. here. Hold your weight on the right leg. Hold your weight on the right leg. <laughs> oh, and you come out and take your glass from your tray. And back to the table. And it's like a ballet movement, kind yes. of. Yes. Finally, the big test. Down to the confusion of the service bar where anxious new bunnies fill the customer's orders with the help of patient bartenders. I watched the other girls in action. When my turn came, I felt pretty awkward. But at least I didn't spill anything on the customers. I had passed. Later, when I left the club, the doorman asked if I wasn't taking off early. Well, I replied very grandly, after all, I'm not a bunny. I'm a reporter for the National Broadcasting Company. Gee, he said, you could have fooled me. And you know something, Q, I must admit that secretly I think I was kind of pleased. <laughs> and that's it. That's bunny school. <laughs> you should be pleased. You make a very cute bunny. Okay. You know, the amazing thing is, though, they are more chaperones, really, than uh, in a television studio. It, is, uh, it has been said even that the atmosphere is almost depressingly moral uh -huh. in the Playboy Club mm -hmm. because there's no hanky-panky whatever. And uh, the furor that's raised about it kind of uh, is uh, ridiculous. Hope really brings is. eternal. I mean, the criticism of it is ridiculous, uh -huh. I think. But I enjoyed seeing you as a bunny. Thank you. I did. We have a station break now. And thank you, Barbara Walters. Thank you.